Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today we're into a great one, Decisive Campaigns, our Den's Offensive. We are playing the Grand Campaign as the Axis against the Allied AI, and this is episode number four, and I want to thank you for all the support for this series of videos. Uh, it seems like people like these, and we're going to play this uh, Grand Campaign all the way through to the in. If you do like these videos, all I ever ask, just give me a like, and if you're around quite a bit, give it a subscribe. You'll get some notifications or whatever whenever we go up with a new video. Uh, if you want to, I've also now enabled the membership uh, tab. It's that join down there. Only if you want to, if you want to support the channel. But I do appreciate all the support. I'm glad you like these because I love this game, and so I was going to play it through to the end anyway. I'm glad people are watching them. Um, Anyway, okay, we are still in the first morning of the first day, uh, and we have made it down to 6th Panzer Army finally. And there is 6th Panzer Army, if I can get down here to it. There is 6th Panzer Army, and if we look at our officer here, it's under Dietrich. Dietrich is a pretty good offensive general, 70 for the audacity, and he's got some interesting kind of different cards we haven't seen before, uh, such as Gamble. <laughs> well, okay, uh, to, he's heading to Vegas, guys, with uh, all of our pay from the German army. No, he uh, can go down and give an offensive bonus to all subordinates, but maybe he doesn't. And it's failure and adverse result possible. All right, so that's kind of interesting. He can also lead attacks, and we'll get into this. We're, we're not going to use it this turn. Uh, so, you know, we won't get that deep into it. I just wanted to show you, show you we had some different cards. We were down here kind of, uh, we're not quite to the north of the center. If we put up the mini-map, you can see, you know, and we kind of scoot down to where we are here, right in this area. We had started to get it. We had started to get into the SS um, motorized units, and we have moved out here. We're trying to get to Belingen, uh, where they have a depot, a supply depot, and take that. When I say they, the Americans. Uh, we put a grief team out here, right behind this little town. What is this called? Uh, that's L-Town. We're going to call that L-Town. Uh, but we put a grief team behind that, and the motorized just kind of went around it on this minor dirt road. And that brings up something. We had some great comments after the last video about a few of the questions that I had playing through here. So, I mean, I played his games before. I played the Aracourt scenario, but now that we're in the grand campaign, there are a few things that I just wasn't 100% sure about. Now, I was 98% sure that the red stripe moving through here was a major road and I was correct but let's go determine how you could figure that out well one thing is that I haven't talked about or shown you I guess in this playthrough yet is if you hover over the terrain type so in this case the terrain are fields and it tells you the hex number and you can get hex stats about the height and zone of control penalties and whatnot but if you hover over it it gives you even a lot more information so anything in this game you would want to know about a hex you can find here in detailed hex info and it tells you roads present major road going to the northwest then you have rail and major road going to the southeast then you have rail and dirt road going to the southwest okay and it tells you 126 recon points in this hex the minimum recon to just know if a unit there is there or not would be 20 and the minimum recon for full unit info is 80. All right, so that's all good information to know. Landscape type fields, we knew that just from the picture, but it tells you this here again. And then it tells you attack and defense modifiers. Uh, it also goes down and tells you AP cost uh, to move into that hex uh, or move through that hex, I should say. So you see every different unit type down there, uh, how much it would cost to get through the hex, max traffic points, uh, special hex variables, water equals 10. Okay, so you know you can find out anything you want to know about a hex just by hovering over beyond the hex tab and hovering over the terrain. And so that's very useful. And uh, figured out that that red ribbon is the major of majorous roads. What kind of road is this? Just out of curiosity, what do they call it? Rail and minor road to the north, minor road to the south, rail and dirt road. So as you can see, we've got major roads, 
minor roads and, well, wrong. We've got major roads, minor roads, and dirt roads, all right? So that's, that's how it looks on the map uh, for this dirt road. So you can see we've got part of this SS motorized unit or units moving up here on a dirt road. We probably want to try to avoid that as much as possible, but we, I kind of just wanted to move around this town rather than trying to do a full assault on it. Speed is our ally at this point uh, early on, especially with our motorized units. If you think about the Battle of the Bulge, that's what it was all about is the Germans trying to get the... Uh, surprise attack and get back into the west as fast as they could all right let's start moving units now when i left it last time we had already moved uh the 12th volksgrenadier division or most of it and i have all these guys pretty much where i want them but i still had an anti-tank unit back here that i had not moved yet and let's go to move mode and see where all it could go now i am a little overstacked in a few hexes here what is overstacked well that's over 200 in stack points now that is not 166 that is though 212 that's okay i want the anti-aircraft here protecting as much as it can uh, i really would probably like it out one more but anti-air only has a range of one so it's only gonna you know protect the hexes directly around it uh, and i do want it out here by the motorized units as much as possible we've got another anti-air back here we got to try to get that caught up but i had this anti-tank unit from 12th that i hadn't moved yet and let's see what this stack is right now. 159, the anti-tank is 21, so that would not put us over. It would put us at 180. I want to go into this hex. Now, I am worried about intercept fire, although I, you know, we really haven't encountered that much resistance. I'm going to go here first, okay? Go down here, okay, we get no intercept fire, and now we've moved that anti-tank unit out. We've got more back here, but I don't really want to overstack you know, this is 198, right? I could move that anti-tank, get it going one more. Now, see, that stack's 233. That's a little higher than I would like, but okay, uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. First turn, getting things moving out here as fast as we can. Okay, as we come back here to the eastern part of the map, we've already moved anything, you know, to the north on the eastern part of the map. You can see here they've already moved. Let's start getting, you know, six Panzer and all of its uh, support here moving to the to the front. And I guess we'll probably start here with the Kampfgruppas. Uh, sure. First SS Panzer Corps, it goes back to six Panzer Army. And if we wanted to, we could just go to the order of battle, right? And we're already on six Panzer Army. So as you can see, we've got the 150th Panzer Brigade. We've got the 67th Corps, and we've got 1st SS Panzer Corps that report directly to it. Uh, then off of that, you see there's a lot in 1st SS Panzer uh, that it's going to have under its command. So we're going to need to get that up to the front as fast as we can. We're not down to 67th yet. We'll get there. We are close to 150th Panzer, and you can see the comp group is here are part of that 150th Panzer. Okay, just wanted to show you that, and you can see it right here. There's 150th Panzer, and I think these KGs right here, I'm just going to call them KGs. Don't get offended if you don't, you know. I, it's just easier than saying Kampfgruppe every time. Uh, so these three KGs here are directly under the command of the 150th Panzer. Do we want to send them north? Do we want to send them south? Uh, it's a good question. Let's look. Um... We're a little lacking, you know, right in here, right? I mean, this these are the Falschermjagers uh, groups here, and they are Luftwaffe troops, right? And so they're not very good. Now, I previous... Oh, that was another thing that got answered. You know, these are not really, quote-unquote, airborne troops. They act like infantry. To do anything airborne, you have to play a card. And so even though they've got the airborne insignia, NATO insignia, they are not going to be really operating as uh, airborne. 
we're going to be getting down here anyway. I had already read this before, but let's look at the Jaegers. In the last year of the war, the German Fallschirmjagers uh, never had any training nor had tried a jump. We use the term Jager to indicate all of the ex-Luftwaffe ground troops, young men and teenagers that were recruited into the ranks. So these are going to be our worst right for the most part now you may have a couple of good uh units in here but these are going to kind of be our worst troops just something to keep in mind um we've got kgs here we've got kgs here so let's take the 150th a little bit south and we're going to put them on the tracks for move mode and take them down this main road as fast as we can let's get them would I rather come this? Yeah, I think I would rather come this way and get on this road. Because 5th Panzer starts there. So let's, yeah, let's go this way for now. And you know what? I'm going to put all of these in move mode and move just move them as a group. I'm not as worried about error this time. It's bad weather. Now, if, you know, I, I could be disabused of that notion at some point uh, and say, why did I move all, have, keep all of these guys in move mode? There we go. So we've moved them all. And if we look at this, yep, they are all part of the same uh, 150th Panzer. You can see them all light up in white when we're on the command. Should I take it off here? Uh, I mean, if they get hit from the air, uh, I'm just going to take them off, you know, being a little cautious. It's going to slow us down a hex or two, having to put them back on if we move them this way next time. But if they got hit by air assets there, that would put us in a real bind. Okay, uh, let's put the anti-air on the track. Um, and we've got six Panzer here. And then we've just got a brigade, or it's a regiment, sorry that's directly attached to it, but it doesn't have any movement points. Okay, interesting. Now, 6th Panzer, no, that's not what I do. There we go. 6th Panzer Army is going to have a lot under its command, right? We already saw that. It really starts up here. It's going to be in the center, kind of this way. So why don't we get this guy, let's find a town we can set him down in so I'm not quite as nervous. How about we'll put him on this main road, maybe? We've got the 1st SS Corps here, but the 6th Panzer Army, well, we'll just center him. Tell you what, I'll just put him right up here. He's on the track move. Fine, we'll take that off. Okay, and we'll bring up the anti-air. I've already got him on track. Let's just put him in town with the uh, headquarters for now. Take that off the track. He's out of move mode, being very cautious, uh, just in case. And then 1st SS, does it have an anti-air with it? It does not. So actually this one, I'll put on the track and bring it around here to follow 1st SS. Well, actually this could go with that, right? All right, I'll just bring it straight behind the command then. It's right there for now. Well, let's put him, let's get him all the way down here if we can. So there's some more anti-aircraft. These guys are all good, but we've got this engineer group. Let's move, start moving him up to the front a little bit if we can. Maybe to, wow, we can get him all the way there, but I don't want to clog up this. I mean, we've got a lot more to move back here, so I'll just have to remember he can go further. I'm going to put him right there for now. Now, he goes straight back to 6th Panzer Army. This cannot move. Okay, we already knew that. And then we have this anti-air. Let's put that on the track move. And we'll get him as close up here to 1st SS. We'll have him trail after 1st SS there. We have another engineer group way back here. We'll just move him around here for now. He also goes back to 6th Panzer Army. Just getting things moving towards the front, such as this unit. They can get a long ways up here. Maybe this one will vector a little further south. Maybe to there. There we go. All right. Getting them moving. Um, so we've moved all that. The Nebelwerfers here have fired. The artillery's fired. I just moved this up. So really we're into 1st SS core at this point. Uh, fine. Let's zoom in here a little bit now that I know where we are. All right. That regiment that's with him cannot move. 
we've got the KGs back here. We've got KGs up here. We've got a lot of units. Um, headquarters is KG Peeper or Piper. We've also got this artillery. Can he hit anything? What's his range? Five. Okay. Not quite good enough, buddy. Um, there's nothing else he could fire on. He's a little out of line of sight on some things. Let's move him forward, this artillery. Let's move him forward one. Now we do bring that into range. Let's go ahead and try to hit that cavalry unit. See if we get any damage there. Eh, not really. Uh, that didn't do much. All right, well, gave it a shot. Uh, now we've got artillery back here that can also start hitting down into. Now these are all, you know, mobile units and hard targets in many cases. Uh, but I really want to get rid of this if we can. Uh, these guys, not as, I mean, you know, we're going to move this, the FJs forward, but I doubt they're going to be able to do much. We could also bombard into town uh, and try start trying to soften this up. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's just hit that. You know, we're not going to do a lot of damage, but every mortar, every truck, everything we can take out of there uh, is going to soften that town up a little bit. And that's what we really want. I could move these guys forward, but I think we're just going to keep hitting the cavalry and hitting in town. Even if it's not super effective from a loss perspective, those are two that we uh, we got to get through that town. We're going around him a little bit, but I'd also just like to take it. Uh, and again, you know, we're kind of softening it up a little bit. We've got this artillery, this artillery's fired. All right. Uh, we've got this motorized that's part of KG Peeper. That must be underneath here. Where the heck is it? Where are you, Peeper? Where are you? Uh, wow, there's a lot in this group. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, good, good to know. A lot of units stacked there. What's the stack cost? They're 457. We should probably get some of that moved. I'm just, I'm looking around for a uh, KG peeper. Where is it? Nothing there. We got Nebel Warpers. There's Niddle. Is he back here? No. This could actually probably be uh, put together as a KG, honestly. Micro. These are all the things that we could put in and make it a comp group. Uh, well, that's not true. We got to play the card. All right, we'll come back and do that some other time. For the time being, I'm going to start moving these assets out. Let's get this infantry regiment, get it moving out this way. This is the way we want to take these guys. Um, and we'll find the peeper eventually. Let's get going down this way. We may take some intercept fire here, and we do. We lose one truck. All right, we'll take that. That's fine. And let's just keep going down this road. We've got other things further back that can seal this off. It's just an anti-tank unit, uh, but let's keep moving down the road here. And we're well past now. Uh, you know, we've got this completely surrounded and cut off. Probably don't need to hit that with any more artillery because he's going to be completely out of supply in the coming turns. We've also got artillery here. We've got uh, engineers. Okay, I think maybe we take the engineers and they can sit here. Uh, they get hit. They don't lose anything. Uh, we lose a little bit of our readiness, but no biggie there. All right. Now this road, well, this road is going to really start building up points. We got to be careful there. Uh, that. Oh, how did I not see that before? Sorry if you were yelling at the screen. There's Peeper. Uh, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, been looking all over for you. Uh yeah, Joachim Peeper. Here he is. He's very good at... Wow, he's a good general. 70, 70, 70, 50. Okay, excellent. All right, let's keep moving these guys. How far... Eh, he can only get to there, huh? And he's going to have to pass by this. That's probably okay. Let's get him out to here for now. Could put him up there. Let's see. No, 
no intercept fire, and he's moved beyond. All right, so now we've got the motorized really moving out here. Here's the ultimate goal, and we've got two motorized units moving up separate tracks towards that goal. Now, we're not on the main track, and that's because the Americans do have something there in town. Now, this is also part of Peeper. All right, so this guy... Uh, let's just keep moving this way. I, I don't think he's, you know, I mean, he's not going to counterattack here. We've got this guy completely surrounded. Uh, so I think we're in good shape there. Um, let's keep going. What else do we have? We have artillery. All right, let's try artillery. We don't see any softer targets that we could really hit. Maybe all the way up here, but I'm not going to do that. Let's try to hit this anti-tank unit with our, our artillery and see if we can take anything out. Oh, nice. Uh, that was actually quite good. We take out three 76mm AT guns, two bazookas, 10 rear area, one truck. Okay, excellent. Um, so that artillery is now done. We've got Tigers here. Look at this, 23 Tiger 2s. What is their hard and soft? Uh, look at that, heart attack, 417. Uh, excellent, excellent. Let's get them on the main roads. Um I could put him in town just to be careful with him. But again, I'm not expecting air attacks on the first turn. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I will move him in there. Let's just put him in town for now. And then we've got 51 more Panthers. It's the stack here in this hex now. 120. Uh, because we can let these motorized really get cooking out here. Is this a town? No, those are fields. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Wish we could get into that town this time, but I don't think it's really possible. Uh, I think I will go ahead and put this in town. Now the stack, it's a minor city, so being a little over stacks, no big deal. And then I think I'll take the anti-air. And we could either come out here and try to protect all of this, or we could, yeah, they're pretty well protected now. I think I will do that. Or will I? Well, let's just move him out on the road for now. The anti-air peeper. He's got everybody but the furthest guy out in command right now. So let's go ahead and move him around here. All right. Now he's got all of his troops in command. Now the AA is out here. We could put it over the headquarters. Or we could just sit it right here so it protects this artillery. Well, let's put it with the headquarters. That's probably historically more what would have happened, right? Uh, do we have one more unit in there? I think we do. Yeah, as part of KG Piper. Let's get him moving all the way up here. He does finally take some intercept fire. We lose 10 infantry troops and one blitz. Okay, so one truck and 10 troops that they fired at this anti-tank. Okay, that's fine. Um, hopefully, what does this attack look like? Just one-to-one. -one. Uh, we're not going to take that. I doubt we're going to get counterattacked by just an anti-tank unit. Now, here's first SS. Uh, and back here, oh, we've got yet another group. Now, these are uh, Jagapanzers. We could move them up here. Or stack's 188, though really want these guys to be all alone they can't quite get here some of this was back on the road well let's take him right there for now all right so we've got this group moving on the move all right now we're into one ss or the first ss if uh you don't like that nomenclature and these guys i guess will push right to here um and have them help us take this major road any intercept fire no okay this is the second ss infantry regiment all right we've got another one here let's bring him right there as well double stack and we'll get them moving on the major road so we've, we're on all forks of this road now uh these americans must be crap in their pants total stack 194 at this point we then have some anti-tank that i could put in with those guys i think i'll just stack him on top of this even though it's not part of his group and then we've got more that can get right up behind here uh no need to push more in here we this guy should essentially surrender next turn 
oh my, what the heck was that? We took some mortar fire, uh, the Maltier, so we lost a truck. That's it. Okay, whoo. Uh, because in here we have, well, these are just half tracks. This is kind of a recon unit. Um, he really should be out front, but we'll get him out front here soon. And then we have the anti-air. Is he sitting in town? No. Uh, okay, we're just going to push the headquarters there. We've still got some artillery back here we can fire. Let's actually push the headquarters forward even one more. And we'll do the anti-aircraft on top of the headquarters. That protects all of this around here. Uh, the artillery, we can fire. Let's hit those anti-tank again. Uh, we kind of, you know, did a number on them last time. This time they take we take out three 76 millimeters, 10 uh, rear area trucks, four U.S. trucks. Uh, okay, so we fired that artillery. The Nebelwerfers, they can't really hit anything here. Let's get them up to an elevation. Uh, you can see on the major road, we've moved a lot through here, and we haven't gotten a stacking penalty or a uh, road penalty yet. Okay, these Nebelwerfers, let's hit that cavalry and see if we can do something to it. And we do. Wow, we hit that pretty hard. 160 millimeter mortar, 10 veterans, 2 M3s, 1 M8. Okay, excellent. Those things are deadly. Uh, so we've got so much artillery back here. I love it. Uh, do we hit the anti-tank again? Yep, I mean, this is where our attack is all centered. So we may as well just keep hitting. Whoa! We just completely destroyed that. Nothing left alive. It's just gone. Whoop, see ya. Now there's a little town here. Uh, and we can move... There we go. We can move the engineers in there. Excellent. Okay, cool. And now, since we have this anti-aircraft protecting those guys, let's move that anti-aircraft there. And now it protects this, 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 right? We could even take the headquarters now and put it into town, into a town. That's Lanzareth. Uh, it's a minor city one. Okay, and now we're starting to surround this. We've got this guy completely surrounded. He's got nowhere to go. Uh, he's saying Hail Mary's out there. Uh, what else could we now move up? Now that we have a little more room, can these guys go a little further? I mean, we could go put uh, the tank. How about the Tigers? I, it just really worries me having, well, they're in town here. That's fine. But we could take this guy and move him around to town. So let's do that. Okay, so now we've moved that out even more. I like it. I like how this is setting up so far. Um, okay, got KGs back here. Niddle. Hello, Mr. Niddle. Uh, what are you? Uh, he's a better defensive general. We could do speed. We could be doing speed here, but I don't see the need for it yet. Maybe on one of the recon units next time we will. Uh, but for now, I think we're good. All right, Niddle. Uh, get to moving here. Now we're going to have to miss, mismatch here a little bit. Uh, we're going to take KG Niddle. Do I take him all the way here? Let's look at the hex. What's the stack right now? 115. Uh, okay, I think that's fine. Let's get him moving out here as far as we can. Okay, so Niddle is there. Just barely over 208. Now the Stugs are moving down. We'll put them, you know, somewhere close to the anti-tank. Or, I'm sorry, the anti-air. Well, they can get a long ways down here. And we're not, again, we haven't suffered any penalties here because we're on a major road, which makes sense, right? So let's put the Stugs. Now this goes, oh, this goes with uh, the Fall... Yeah, that goes with the Fallschirmjagers. Okay, uh, so he's really going to want to come down here. Uh, let's move him on the major road, though. When we do it, I'm just going to leave them there for now. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Okay, we've got this, the Six Panzer Army. Let's move it as far forward as we can. Keep, get it on the major road. Okay. Uh, then we have a couple of KGs back here. Let's get these guys up here as far as we can get them. Uh, it's part of this line. And I'm just going to try to bypass all of this, really. I mean, we can always jump down to these roads if we get past them. So it's all about speed. Um, let's get you out there. Hansen. Hansen goes directly back to one or the first SS. 
Uh, Sandig, same. First SS. So his headquarters is right up here. Is that right? I think I put him into town. So let's put the KG there. Okay, I think we've moved. Well, there's First SS. Okay. Uh, First SS Panzer Corps. Where's the town up here? Is it there? No. Is it there? No. That must be it. Hallschlag. Boy, that sounds German as hell. Um, okay, let's move him into town. He's got a regiment back here. Nothing else to move back there. You see we've got a supply source right there. Uh, I think we've moved everything to the back of the map we can. But we're well through and down these roads now. Uh, and ready. We're ready. Uh, one second. Going to pause and get a drink really quick. All right, back with you. Uh, one thing we may want to do is to play a recon card out here. Now, we've got a, some recon, but I'd kind of like to maybe know what was down in this area. It's two points, you know. Let's do it. Let's do it. We could just do it from the unit itself. And then you can see here, uh, Peeper actually has, or Pipe, is it Piper or Peeper? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. Um, 14 command points. So that's great. He gets four for every turn so this is going to be nice uh we've got speed attack we may play the speed in the afternoon or something like that um but let's do recon and let's play it on that unit and we just kind of open things up a little bit you can see we're back into the american artillery now so next time you know assuming the americans can't get anything up here and they're probably going to be dropping back we can get you know, directly into their rear guard artillery here. Fantastic. Okay, what else do we have to move back here? We've moved all this. We've got this Stug that I was talking about, a uh, group. We can get him coming up the road. Why not? Um, Craywinkle. Let's go to Craywinkle. That sounds like a nice town. A little bit of Craywinkle. So we'll move the Stug up there and put him in town. He does get some interdiction fire or intercept fire, but we take no losses there. We just, uh, did we lose anything? No, uh, because that happened right in town. So we put him in town. He's going to be with these guys. Uh, anything else back here? Nope. We've got that, that, that's done. First SS, I want him in town. Artillery and engineers, that all looks good. All right, so let's get down here. I'm going to do a little bonus content today. Usually I like to try to wrap these up, you know, within an hour. But I want to move through this first turn and keep the game really moving. Uh, and there's, you know, there's been explanations and things like that. So that slowed us down a little bit. Let's just get these guys going. And I'm not sure how aggressive I'm really going to be with them. Um... I may want to get one guy up here kind of on this ridge, look down into this valley. Why don't we do that? Let's get one guy up here. What's the fastest way? Well, he'll just cut straight over to the road and then go here and next turn, maybe right up here, just so they don't have anything back into our artillery because we've got plenty of these units. They're not particularly strong. They do get intercept fire going into town, but yet again, because we're going into town, it's just not a big deal. Uh, we've got the KGs coming up. They're going to come up to support. We'll probably get them on this main road while all of the rest of the motor motorized move there um any of these guys move nope though they are static this turn okay uh anti-aircraft's on the move we've got artillery back here now that goes straight back to six panzer army all right let's hit this cavalry see if we can do any damage there uh, we take out one half track okay well sure why not uh, we've got another artillery that's sitting here. Now, we may, may want to bring it a little closer to the front. Why don't we do a little counter-battery fire and see if we can take out some of his artillery? Yes, we do, actually. Uh, nice. We take out two of the 105 millimeters. He's still got seven left, uh, ten rear area troops, and one tractor. All right. So we take that out with the artillery. I don't see anything else back there. Nothing back there. Okay, and then we've got this little town uh, that we're going to want to step up and occupy. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, more troops. We've got the artillery, the regimental artillery there. Let's move this unit 
uh, up one, up two. Okay, he's fine. And then we've got the divisional anti-tank there and the divisional artillery yet to fire. Uh, but let's take the regi uh, regimental artillery and try to hit this cavalry unit with that. See if we can do any damage there. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, not... Uh, not unusual. I mean, we're firing into hard targets there. Let's get these guys moving up the road into what is called Roth. Okay. Well, so, well, this guy can also go there, right? Let's move that guy into Roth. We take no intercept fire there. We've also got engineers here. Let's put him on the road. Oh, we took some intercept fire there from somebody. He fired 81 millimeter mortars. We take no damage. Oh, it was this unit here. Uh, and then we take more. Oh, no. Now we lost 10 of our Jaeger troops. Uh, as <laughs> they're bombarding these guys. Now this is already, I'm going to move right up on, you know, right on it here as we seem to be into the, almost into their back already uh, with the artillery. Um, we've got this already here. We've got soft targets down here. Why don't we try to hit some of these soft targets, help out uh, whatever division this is that we haven't gotten to. Uh, we take out one truck. Well, that's not going to do much. Um, so that artillery's fired. We've got the engineers. Let's bring these engineers up here to help. He takes no return fire there. We've fired that. We've got another unit here. Um, oh, by the way, this right here, that's fortifications. When I was talking about the map, I wanted to mention that, and then I forgot to. Uh, let's move this guy right here onto the road for now. So we've fired both regimental artilleries. He's now in town. That's fine. Boy, I'm almost tempted to keep going here. We've just got like anti-tank, cavalry, artillery. Uh, what would happen if we were going to attack with these engineers? Yeah, 59 to 1. Well, let's do that if we can and try to take out all of his artillery. And we take out a bunch, oh, all the artillery in that unit. I should say we take out a lot of stuff there. 505 millimeters. Uh, we'll certainly take that. And we shoved him back. Let's keep him moving forward if we can. Uh, we can attack again. Let's hit it again and try to take all this out with engineers. Um, yeah, he's only got two trucks and three tractors yet left. We took out all the 105 millimeter howitzers, so we really wrecked that unit, and it keeps going flying back. And we can still go forward as we're back into this artillery now. Uh, awesome. Okay, and I think maybe we've seen where our KGs need to move down through. I was going to put them through here. Now, we're on a dirt road, right? Let's look. Just make sure that's true. And yeah, dirt road northeast and southwest. Uh, excellent. Now I'm starting to wonder, I mean, why have I got this guy sitting around? Let's get him, keep him moving. Uh, this is, as I said, the divisional artillery. Let's get into something soft with that if we can. Do we do any damage? Eh, we're a little ways away, and we do not, even with the 105 millimeter howitzers. Now, that's not quite as good as you'll usually get with divisional artillery. Now, we have the one regiment that's moved up. We have anti-air here. Uh, should we move the headquarters forward? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's move this headquarters forward. Who's the uh, commander here? This is uh, Vaden. Okay, he's pretty good. I mean, he's okay. 50, 60, 60. All right, we'll take that. Um, moving through the forest and straight into town. All right, and then we'll also put the anti-aircraft right there to protect both sides of the town there. And then we've got units back here. Nothing left to move there. KGs, we've got some guys bringing up the rear here. They can't move yet. Uh, anti-air sitting on top of this artillery. Uh, let's move him forward one more. He may as well sit on top of this artillery. He protects both. He's got that range of one. We've moved this out. That all looks good. I don't think there's anything back that I've missed back here. Let's zoom out a little bit and see how much we've uh, accomplished here. Uh, we've moved down here. Just now getting into... 
these groups right here, but this looks great. I mean, we moved a long ways down this road. It looks like kind of a, maybe a soft underbelly to St. Vith. Now, uh, it wouldn't be the first time the Germans have said that, uh, so we got to be careful. But we've got artillery out here that we've now got under, you know, uh, real problems and more just cavalry and artillery here. We could turn some of this down the road, take that out, but that's a dirt road. We probably want to stay on the major roads with most of our motorized. All right, now we've got the uh, 66th Corps, which goes actually back to 5th Panzer Army. And where's 5th Panzer? It's sitting right down here. So I think we've moved all of 6th Panzer now. Um, I'm going to go back through and make sure that's true. This is probably a good stopping point right as we start 5th Panzer. We're about halfway through the through the front, if you can believe that. But the south should move faster. There are also units in the south that can't move, and so that'll go a little bit faster. Uh, but I'm going to call this one an episode. I'm really enjoying playing this game. I love this game. And uh, hopefully you're learning something and you're enjoying it too. Until next time, Strategy Gaming Dojo, have a great one.